My research overall is designed to understand memory. The memory actually has three different components. First is getting the information in. So that's called the acquisition phase. Then you have to store the information, that's the storage phase, and then you have to be able to retrieve it. Memory is all about the changes in the strength of the connections between neurons. There's a lot of communication going on between neurons. So we used to think of the brain as a computer, but a more modern view is it's a computer network with each neuron being a computer. So any one neuron can receive connections from up to 10,000 other neurons and in turn make connections to 10,000 other neurons. So when we remember something, it's because the change, there's a change in the strength between one neuron and another neuron. Once we understand the biochemical mechanisms that are involved in forming one of these long-term memories, then we can intervene with drugs or better learning procedures that can tap into those processes. The frontier of memory research these days is understanding the brain circuits that are involved in memory. And we need to recruit additional researchers here at UT that are interested in addressing that question. The more we know about those memory circuits, the better we'll be able to intervene and help people that have uh, memory deficits and disorders that are associated with memory deficits. And of course, the big one that is on everyone's minds is Alzheimer's disease. We all have these instances where we think we're, we're losing it and we can't uh, remember something, and we think that we're losing our memory. Your memory uh, is uh, really what you are. It's not just your past, it's your present and your future. So without your memory, you're really, you're, you're no one. Uh, and, and that's the scary thing with uh, individuals that have Alzheimer's disease. They can be fairly healthy, but they're not themselves any longer. It's, it's a horrible, horrible disease in that sense. It robs you of what you are, your very existence. There's about five million people in the United States are affected with Alzheimer's disease, and the number is growing. And the cost to society is in the hundreds of billions of dollars a year. So it's critical that we find uh, a cure and a, a treatment.